Hello, everybody. Welcome to To Have and To Roll Till Death Saves Do Us Part, our tabletop roleplay gaming series. Today we are playing our two-player Dungeons & Dragons campaign, The Land of Vampires. My name is Oliver, I will be your storyteller and your dungeon master, and with me I have my player, my wife, Robin. Hello, Robin. Hello, Oliver. <laughs> we will be using today material from our friends over at Grove Guardian Press, who make great content for one-on-one D&D, -on -one if you're interested in such things. Links to them, they have a Patreon, they have a website, um, they have uh, one-shots, they have adventures, all aimed at one-on-one D&D. &D. Um, and I think you can use it for other other role-playing games as well. Other role-playing games are available. <laughs> uh, you can find the links to them in our About section on Twitch. Robin, do you have some uh, announcements for us? Yes, of course. So. Along with hanging out with us here on Twitch, we are also available on all other social medias. We have a growing channel on our Instagram. We have our own Facebook page, a Twitter page. We also have a TikTok. And we are got a growing community in our Discord. You can find the links to all of these socials in the About section here on our Twitch page as well. And recently we have been running a competition on our Instagram to win a beautiful pink writing quill, a bottle of ink and a bag of dice. Now we have a winner for our competition. We had lots and lots of entries to this one and I painstakingly individually added every single one of them to the uh, wheel. You'll get, you'll get over it. You'll get over it. Oh yeah, I'll get over it, it's fine. It'll be worth it. It totally is worth it because we do now have a winner. So, drum roll. <laughs> our winner is. Our winner is not a witch over on Instagram. Not a witch? It's not. But who is it then? No. It's, it's not a witch. It's not a witch. You know, I've got, I, I've got a feeling. I've got a theory that they actually are a witch, but they're just saying that they're not a witch. Well done, well done, not a witch. You are so the... yes, well, congratulations to not a witch over on our Instagram. I will be messaging you from our account. And for everyone else, thank you for entering. And don't worry, there are going to be many more competitions to enter in the future. Oh dear. That's... Aria agrees. Yeah, there's our, our dog barking in the background. It's okay, well, while she settles down, are we are we ready, Robin, to jump back in? to our Yes, campaign. we are. There's there's a squirrel tormenting her currently. Okay. Well, that's fine. You can you can mute as she, she settles down and I throw us into our um a recap of what has happened so far. So, playing detective, our half-elf bard Annalise and her friends Baruk and Kalina found out a noble by the name of Lord Nasark had been kidnapping the citizens of Linolin for his vampiric rituals. They were asked to pursue Nasark to his estate in the Frostmoor Mountains. Annalise had a visit from an old friend, a tiefling named Leola. She magically imbued Annalise's loot and wished her well in her travels. Moving on, their journey took them to the woods at the foothills of the estate, uh, whereupon uh, they came across a sprite being chased by a pair of zombies. After coming to his rescue, rescue, he escorted the party to the Nocturne Estate, where Victorio Nasark was waiting for them. In his vampire form, Nasark drew Annalise and her friends into a battle. Every blow struck against Nasark released pools of his own blood, which merged into a portal in which he made his escape. In pursuit, Annalise and Kalina jumped through the portal and found themselves in an unknown location. Annalise, blinking the confusion and the blood out of your eyes, you cr quickly recognize you are no longer where you were, but in a strange, twisted, dark wood that seems to reach out towards you possessively. Briars and thorns tug at your clothes and the gnarled trees close in on all sides. You see Kalina 
a short distance away, looking as confused as you are. She turns to you. Where are we? You turn around, there is no sign of the portal, or Baruch, and there is no sign of the Nocturne Estate. Um, Annalise, uh, she kind of like spins around and looks towards where the portal actually was and just starts shouting, Varuk, Varuk, are you there? Can you hear me? As you, as you shout out uh, Varuk's name, there's no echo, there's no sign of Varuk. All you can see around you is the dense, dark forest that is also, when you look up and you try to see out to the tops of the trees and the horizon, everything is just covered with a thick mist that seems to just be clinging between the trees and blocking out what sunlight you maybe assume there is, because it is not darkness here. You might assume it's daylight. I do not know where we are. I... I don't, I don't think I recognize this place either. Did you, did you see him when you came through, Lord Nasak? No, I just appeared, appeared here like you did. Did not see where he went. I jumped through and as, as she's talking to you, she's kind of like uh, working her way through the briars and trying to get to you. Um, her, her face and hair like yours covered in blood from the portal. Uh, where the the Varuk not come through? No, I thought he was right behind me. I just, I just followed you through, and then it was was gone. Maybe there was not enough time for him to get through. Maybe not. The portal was breaking, or maybe he was taken to a different place than us. Oh. I did not think of that. Well, I guess we should try to find where Lord Nasak went. Well, perhaps he was actually, you know, slightly injured. Maybe that's why he had to run away like that. Now could be a good time to try and find him. Possibly, but it looked like that's what he wanted us to do, so he could create a portal. It could be anywhere. I don't recognize this forest. We could be... It is not familiar to me. Not like any forest in the Frostmoor Mountains. Um, Annalise is going to kind of like walk up to some of the trees and have a closer look. Does she recognize the area at all? Uh, you, you can do a... You can nature or... Well, if you're going to recognize the area, do a, you can do a survival check. Survival? Sure. If you, if you want to discern the types of trees and, and uh, geographically where they'd be placed, and you can do a nature check if you would like. Well, we'll survival. I'm just trying to see if I recognize it in case I've been sent somewhere that I've been before. Um, I got a 18 or survival. An 18. Uh, it doesn't look like from what little geography you can see and the types of trees they are. Um, <laughs> They they are what you would describe as common type of tree that you might find uh, in and around um, the mountains of Linland. There's no there's no um, th these aren't exotic species of tree that you've never seen before. However, the way everything is laid out, you don't recognise this is a wood that you've ever been to. No, I don't recognise it. I don't think I've ever been here. Perhaps, well, perhaps here isn't even a real place. What, do you think it's some sort of dream? Perhaps a, a dream or a weird vampire spell. Maybe I pinch you. Ow! Pinches you. Okay, it's not a dream. I definitely felt that. You're awake now, no? 
I think so. Okay, yes, we're awake. We're definitely awake. Okay. Definitely. In the Not distance, a dream. In the distance, you hear a, a, a howl of a wolf. Ooh. That might be problematic later. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, find a way out of here while still the uh, light, sort of. Yes, perhaps we should. Okay. Let's um hmm. We have a little look around. Can I see any kind of anything that would suggest a path of sorts? Uh do um do a perception check for me. Okay. <laughs> it just shows a nat twenty. <laughs> nat twenty, okay. I brought my favorite dice again. <laughs> okay, you can you can where from from where you are now it's very difficult to get your bearing on east, west, south, north. Um, but yeah. to let's say to your right, um, that the the wood is slightly less thick in that direction. Um, there seems to be, even though that it's kind of the way that Kalina was heading anyway, and so she has disturbed the the foliage a little bit. Um, but you can see a little bit more a pa an easier path through to your right. It looks to be less thick that way. Perhaps we go that way. Let's do it. Um, can I just look up? How high up do the trees look? <laughs> I mean, if that makes sense. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do a check for that. I mean, they they are. I mean, how high, how high is it? Would a tree be in a normal normal wood? Um, yeah, you're you're, t you're talking between twenty and thirty feet of of um, of height. Um, it is quite a. It, it would definitely be classed as a forest. Um, here it is. It's pretty dense, and the the, canop the canopies, although leafless, are thick with branches. Okay. I'm just gonna take her a look. I'm just gonna be like, you know, that is one thing I could do. Let me see if I could, you know, help us out a little bit here. She's going to be like, uh, and then she's going to start strumming her lute and she's going to start to levitate. Yeah, sure. So she can levitate. Um, do, do. Oh, sorry. I was, I'll, I'll read this out loud at the same time. I didn't have it. Yeah, let everyone quite... know what levitate does. Yeah. Wait one second. Okay. Right. So as you strum your magical instrument, Annalise starts to rise off the ground in a straight line. Um, oh, actually, let me just double check this. So it says one creature or loose object of your choice that you can see within range rises vertically up to 20 feet and remains suspended there for duration. So can I do that to myself? Yeah, you're a creature that you can see. Yeah. So I'm going to levitate up <laughs> the 20 feet. <laughs> I'm just sort of like strumming it away and then see if I can get a better a better look when I'm 20 feet up. <laughs> sure, do do a perception check. As, as you as you rise above the trees, do a perception check with disadvantage for me. Okay. As you uh, rise up um, to, to the tops, to the tops of the trees close by, um, as you go, it's not, it's not dreadfully easy. This spell doesn't allow you to move side to side. So you do get snagged on branches thorns um yeah so that's an eight sorry <laughs> eight with disadvantage as, as you head up all you can see around you is a just a thick fog you can you can maybe only see well let's say like you know 50 odd feet at this at this height um and it's just woods and woods and woods it does seem a little less it seems to slope downward however the direction you're you were headed or the to the right when you said right let's go that way um there mm -hmm. does seem to be a slight decline as in a downhill oh like over to the right yeah okay and she'll just sort of start coming back down <laughs> the elevator music is playing <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm back down to ground. 
well, I don't see too much. It's like really foggy up there. And, you know, I got a little bit caught on the branches. But the way we're going, looks like it goes down a bit, like, like, like down a hill. So we perhaps go that way just carefully. It's always a good idea. Uh, do a do a survival check for me with advantage. And uh, fifteen, so eighteen. I think it's a good idea. If you go downhill, usually that where you find water. And you find water, you find settlements, roads. Oh, of course, that that is good thinking. And yes. when we find settlements and roads and water, we also find ale. Well, you really think about ale this time? Oh, I always think about ale. Mm, well, we'll see. Let's head off that way then. Okay, as you make your way through the briars and branches, there is something malevolent and oppressive about this forest you get a chill down the back of your neck as if you're being watched as if the forest itself is watching you eventually though you come across a path not a path a road it is a road that has seen a fair bit of travel of stone relatively wide Kalina points out look road looks like you were right well we should follow it but then maybe maybe keep slightly in from it if this is a trap and he's waiting for us we'll look a little bit obvious out on the road Good point. We should stay off the road. Stay off it, but like a road adjacent. Road adjacent. It sounds sound clever. Clever plan. Uh, I thought so. Kalina looks as you are like perpendicular to the to the road. It's like she looks left and she looks right and then she looks back at you. Which way we go? Hmm. We could flip a coin. If you think that's or, the best or plan. Or not. No, no. If you think that's the best plan, then... Oh, hmm. What a second. Um, Annelies will go out and she's going to kind of like look both directions and she's just going to sort of um listen. See if she can hear anything either way or see anything either way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, do, do a perception check for me. Okay. All the perception checks today. Right. Um, that, however, is a seven. You look left, you look right. They seem the same. Hmm. You know, I heard somewhere that you should always just keep turning left if you don't know. So let's just go left. But we, but we started by turning right. We did. Well, it's a little bit late now to go all the way back and then turn left. So we turn left. Left, right. Oh, I do not know. Let's go <laughs> left. <laughs> We're just gonna go left. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> okay. As you um, start walking, let's say, yeah, let's say road, n near the edge of the road. Um, I, I, I assume far enough away from the road, but close enough that you're not struggling through the forest itself. Yeah. As you're traveling on this um, side of the road, the fog just makes, it's that way that the fog just feels like you're just walking the same hundred yards over and over and over again until you see something up ahead um, that starts to form out of the mist it's looks like a dog but then it's not instantly you realize that it's not a dog 
It is a grey wolf. That is just sitting in the road ahead of you. Um, right. Let me just check something. Um. Right, I would like to do something here. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, can I see any other wolves around there? Is it just the one I can see? Do a uh, do a perception check. Seven. <laughs> uh, you you look around. You cannot see any other wolves. Right. I would like to start heading that direction, but use animal friendship. Okay, animal friendship. Do you want to read Open up? What... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this spell lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. Choose a beast that you can see within range. It must see and hear you. If the beast intelligence is four or higher, the spell fails. Otherwise, the beast must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you for the spell's duration. Okay. Um, the range is 30 feet and it's a wisdom saving throw. Okay. And she'll take out her loot as she does this and she'll just sort of like start wandering up and everything and just start playing some sweet music as she's casting this out towards the little doggy. Okay, as you um, as you walk over and you start playing, you're playing your music, um, the wolf uh, sitting, sitting, just watching you approach, um, as you get a closer look at this animal, you see its fur is shorter on its body, but longer over its neck, and it's thick and shiny even in the mist. It stands up and walks towards you. The pace is more like a choreographed dance than what you might expect from, say, a dog. It looks straight at you and you can, as it approaches, it slows and you're still playing your music and you look into its eyes there is an intelligence there, but also a wariness. And it stands and looks at you. Annalise will continue to play. And she'll just sort of like look over to the wheel as she does. And she's just going to be like, it is okay. I mean, you know what? Kalina, perhaps we should just keep going past it. I think it's going to leave us. Uh, I don't know. And as you turn around, uh, Kalina is like looking the opposite direction, and you see four other wolves behind you. Ah, shit. <laughs> Uh, as you as you stand okay. as these wolves the wolf in front of you sits down and looks up at you and it hmm. raises its nose and sniffs the air and then from behind you see a wolf twice the size of the five around you up here running parallel to the road and then looking straight at you at the pair of you and with that the wolf in front of you stands up and turns and starts padding over to the direction of the extremely large wolf this wolf has got thick black fur Its eyes, its eyes are almost kind of piercing, you know, as if they look straight through you. As you see the one in front of you, the grey wolf, join the larger wolf 
the four that were behind follow suit and they walk past you in the direction you were walking towards the larger wolf. And then one by one they start disappearing into the woods. And then the large wolf turns, starts walking away. Do me another perception check. That's better. Um, dirty 20. As the large wolf turns away and into the mist, it becomes a silhouette. You swear the shape of the wolf looks like the wolf stood up on its hind legs and started to walk away until it was out of your sight. I like look round towards Kleena. Is it just me or did that wolf just like stand up like a person? I did not see it stand up. It wouldn't surprise me though. It was very large. It was, it was huge. So oh. You might be seeing things also. Yes. Possibly. Maybe we bumped my head on something. I don't know. Okay. Well. At least the wolves didn't try to eat us. Yes. So. Good start. That, I think that's always a good start. Mm, well, but we probably don't smell great. I mean, we are both absolutely covered in blood. Yes, maybe we find a bath. That that sounds like a very good idea. Okay, let's keep going this way, and then she'll get the loot and put it back over her back. As you continue down the road, you start to hear the sound of running water. This road starts to slope slightly, and you are definitely going downhill now as you carry on going down this road, down the slope. The sound of running water increases in volume. Eventually, you discover, maybe not surprisingly, a river. Near the water, the mist, the, the mist, the mist decreases somewhat. The mist also decreases. <laughs> oh, look, the mist has decreased here. <laughs> yes, the mist. It's a fine mist. Um, and you can see a an old stone bridge that is crossing a, a pretty steadily flowing river. It's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, rapid or anything it's about it's about 15 foot across steadily flowing underneath this bridge oh looks like you were right again let's um let's take a closer look up that river first if it is safe then we could maybe wash up a little bit i would uh I would like that. Okay. Let's, uh... and... Go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say then, um, at least we'll start moving sort of towards the river really cautiously, just looking around to see if there's anything there, looking more specifically for likes of any big animals going to the river for a drink. <laughs> sure, sure. Do, do me a perception check. This is probably going to be the name of the episode. Perception checks. <laughs> That's another seven. <laughs> As you um as you start heading towards the bridge are you did you say you were avoiding the bridge or are you heading straight to the bridge oh sorry um I, i'm really sorry just, just remind me of that again I, I i thought the bridge was further up and we were like on a bank going towards the, the river that's a bridge Wh where's no, the no no well a, a bridge goes over a river so you're walking towards the river oh yeah the, sorry the, the yes. yeah because the, the road you're on goes across the bridge 
Got it. Yeah, sorry, that took me for some reason in my head. I had a different picture altogether there. Right. So, um, yes, I'm going to avoid the bridge for now because I want to go to the river. So I'm going to kind of go down over towards the river, but keeping an eye out around me as we as we go. Sure. Okay. So as you start heading down the bank, you notice the the footing yeah. is uh, not great. It's it's pretty slippery, as you might imagine. As you start heading towards the 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 water, you can see across the bridge. Um, you start to see the, the the shadow or the outline of a humanoid form, and it seems to be shambling in your direction. Well, the direction of the bridge. Okay. In that case, um, can I turn to clean up? Perhaps we should go and see. Well, that is first. Perhaps they might be able to help us a little bit here. Well, uh, I don't know whether she actually starts drawing a sword as the figure starts approaching the the bridge. You can see its gait is very irregular, and you can hear grunting. Oh. Oh, not one of these again. Okay. Do you think it's seen us yet? I don't know. What do you think we should do? Let's let's hide here. It's, it's coming to the bridge. We're on the banking. We, we hide here, wait for it to come across, and then we shoot it. Very well. She gets okay, out her okay. gets out her bow, and she can hear every now and again these grunts, this shambling humanoid. Where you're positioned, are you are you wanting to be right up against the bridge, or are you a distance away? I'm just um, trying to figure out whether you're going to be able to see what's actually I coming across the bridge. I don't know. <laughs> um, can I say I would move down the banking enough so that I can see the creature coming across the bridge? Yeah. yeah so I, I'll kind of position yeah. myself. Yeah, I'll position myself so that I can see the creature coming across, but I'm still kind of trying to stay low down so that it's unlikely to, so I can try and surprise it um, first. Okay. I don't want to run out in case there's more, so. Okay, here. so as, uh, as as you get into position, you're quite out in the open because you're on a, on a bank in, a, in, a, mm. in the middle of a river. So you're quite out in the open. You can see the figure approach the bridge from across the way and it has this uh yeah it has this gait about it that looks like it's almost got a limp but it's actually moving at a, a relative pace you know it's not it's it's not quite a full on run but it looks like it's in a hurry uh to get somewhere um you can see as it starts cross it starts crossing the bridge you can see you can almost hear the grunts but it sounds more like it's out of breath oh it seems to be a from what you can tell from its from its shape, it seems to be wearing robes. It seems to have a bald head. As it comes across the bridge, you can just hear. <laughs> don't shoot! I don't think that's an undead. You can see it makes its way onto the other to the other side of the the river, the bridge. And keeps running. Um, so sorry. So it's coming from the like opposite side to where we are, and it's, it's going it's towards cross, where it's we already, came. So it's already crossed the bridge. Yeah, yeah it's crossed the bridge. Yeah, in the road. direction we came. Yeah, there's a there's a road that you were on. The road yeah. goes across the river. The other side of the river. Okay, then you she's were gonna at, shout but... out and be like, um, she's gonna shout out to it, um. Realizing that it sounds more like a person and not a non dead, she's just going to shout out, just be like, oh, "Wait, are you okay?" You hear, you you, you hear, goes, "Ah, help! Run for your life!" <laughs> as as it keeps going. Uh, do do me a, do me a perception, another perception check. <laughs> Eight. Eight. You see. Um, oh wait, no. Um, where's my thing gone? 
Nine. No. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was a plus three, a plus four. <laughs> yeah. So as as you uh, you hadn't really um, noticed, but this thing was, is being chased. So as he starts uh, shuffling off the bridge and onto the road that you were on, you see that there are th these many things that are. You, you, they almost look like you almost might mistake them for like snakes or creatures, some sort of creatures like that. And there's many of them. There's, there's there's several of these things, but they don't quite move with that any kind of fluidity. And then you realize they are a jumble of limbs, arms, and legs, and heads, and they are just crawling, crawling along the road, not traveling at any massive speed. However, the, the the pace of this, uh, you can assume it's a man, um, from the voice you heard. They seem to be catching up with him. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> kind of turn to Kalina. Like, don't suppose you've ever seen an army of limbs before? I can't, can't say I have. Are we, do we just leave him or? I do not know what to do. We, there's only two of us. There's, there's that many. We can't stop them all, but... Um, I guess we're going to have to try. Um, and she's going to... God, you can see how unsure I am. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what to do. <laughs> Uh, right, I, I'm going to fire an arrow at one of the limbs. <laughs> See what happens. Okay, yeah. Uh, roll an attack. Um, okay. Sorry, can't, cannot maths. Um, dirty 20. Yeah, that that hits. Roll some damage. That is eleven points of damage. Eleven points of damage, nice. Well done. Oh, I need to write this down. <laughs> okay, as you as you fire off your um, arrow, you hit this this jumble of limbs that just seem to be like crawling and crawling and rolling uh, across the bridge. Um, you hit one and this arm that seems to be just flesh kind of just hanging off it um, just falls limp. However, oh, hang on. I'm going to do this here. Does a 19 hit you, Annalise? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so as you as you fire off your arrow to hit one of these limbs, um, you feel something sharp almost bite into your leg. Um, and you look down out of the mud. There is this um, th this foul looking and smelling human arm that is now attached to your leg um and it lets go and starts starts clawing at you can you uh roll me some initiative please sure did i take any damage there wait for it wait for it oh sorry um Kalina's as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for her initiative on her sheet now. It should be a dex. Yep, I've got hours. What have you what are you getting? We go first, second, last, and all the turns. It's just us. Um we go um Annalise has a ten and yep. Kalina has nine. Okay. So Annalise, Kalina. Massive zombie limbs. Okay, give me two seconds. 
Okay, I want I want you to I want you to make a strength saving throw for me, Annalise. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Um. Sorry, I'm just making sure the the plus one has definitely been added. Seems to be added. Okay. Yeah. Right. Eight. Eight. You are as you look down another. Uh, dead looking arm has grabbed a hold of your ankle uh, you're now yeah no shit <laughs> you're now you're now restrained um, however it's it's your turn your so your speed is zero um, and you can't really do anything but at the end of the turn you can try to save again okay I will try and save again <laughs> <laughs> make a strength save Uh, six. <laughs> a six. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm not a strong character. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, you take. Oh no. You take uh, ten necrotic damage. Cool. Um, I am now bloodied. You're bloodied. Oh no. Yep. Um, is now is now Cleaner's turn. So as as you realizing this, you realizing these. Uh, massive limbs has now just kind of wheeled around and s has started basically heading towards the two of you and as you two are stuck in the mud you're realizing that this ground isn't great for fighting on this is considered difficult terrain where you are now because you're in the mud of the banks so speed is um halved um yeah it's it's kalina's turn oh shit sorry um right um what's kalina <laughs> um <laughs> She is going to, um... Uh, she's going <laughs> to shoot at... I don't, sorry! Um, she's going to shoot out at the big, massive blob of stuff. It's it's not too massive. There are just several of them on the ground. You know, it's it's more like a... Oh, a, a, right, a sorry. I was it's not a ma it's not a, it's, this... No, it's not a mass. It is it's literally individual oh. limbs. It's individual limbs, just just rolling around. Okay. Um. She's going to take out her sword and she's going to hack at the limbs that are attached to Annalise's leg. Um. Sh uh. Sure, but you, so you're it's you're grappled, so it'd be attacking a grappled. Opponent. Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I'm just trying to picture. I thought she was at least was standing there with something well, holding what? her leg. Yeah, that's right. Or is she on the ground? No, no, you're grab. No, no, you're sorry. You are you are restrained, not grappled. I'm, I'm talking rubbish. So you're restrained by this arm. So she can use the help mm -hmm. action to help you get out of the out of the. Oh, oh okay. Restraint. Yeah, she'll do that then. Yeah, because it's 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 an ability called grasping limbs. You are restrained. Right. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. She'll do that then. Sorry, I said. I know. I said grappled. So she's going to use so the help action. That's that. that's yeah. that's a yeah, bonus action. action. She's still she's still got a um she still has a, an action. Then if you want to use it, she is going to do what I originally said. She's going to shoot at the things. Shoot the things. Roll an attack for her. Um, fifteen plus whatever her attack is. Oh. Hey. Um. Sorry, just trying to. Okay. Awesome. And then it's. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't print this one out and it's taking me forever to find everything. Uh, right, there we go. You should be able so to just damage... click on D&D &D Beyond. No, yeah, I've got it. it. It's just, it just takes me a long time to read it. Oh, I can't click on her sheet. Oh, really? Okay. Um, So, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points damage. Ten points damage. And nice. then she is going to um start moving up the bank. As far as she can, being difficult terrain. She's gonna she's gonna use the help action to help you next turn, so she'll need to stay where she is. Oh yeah. right, I didn't under, I didn't realize that. Okay, yeah. right, cool. That's yeah, it's then. not your it's not your turn yet. So um, actually, can I can I change that? that um, nah. can I change that then? She's not gonna use the help action. She's gonna okay. just carry on going. Okay, sure. Um, yeah. she will. Take, I need her out of there for next. She turn, will take then. an attack of opportunity. Um, okay. 
her speed is halved as well, so she's only yeah. going to get she's only going to get about fifteen feet away. Uh, so it's going to make an attack um, that is a ten to hit, which I don't think does. That's anything. a miss. Is a miss. So she moves fifteen foot away. Yeah. Okay. It is now uh, the masses. <laughs> the masses turn because you're the only target now. Annalise, it is going to make this swarm of limbs is going to make an attack against you. That is a 24 to hit, though. Yep, that hits. Okay. Um, no, no, sorry, no. She's going to cut in, she's going to cut in words it. Cut, cut words it, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I have too many things up there. Yeah, she's going to cut in words it. Uh -huh. um, she's just going to be like, hey, you know you're as useful as a white crayon. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> cutting words there. Probably. And she's going to cutting words the um the damage. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so that's a uh, five bludgeoning damage. I will take three. <laughs> uh, I want to see bludgeoning damage or. Okay, sorry. Yeah, sorry, what was that? Sorry, I was just reading. So I, I'll take three because I rolled two. Okay. So now it's going to... Well, you're already restrained, so it can't it can't do a second thing anyway. Um, it is it is currently basically in your space, if you like. So you're now surrounded by these these limbs. Um, it is now, it's now your turn, Annalise. I'd like to misty step. Can you misty step from being restrained? I think. I don't know. Can I? Let's, we can, we can <laughs> I was hoping you might know. We can certainly find uh, out. Yeah. Misty step. It doesn't require teleport, movement to it? use. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to bonus action misty step. Um, how far up is the bank? Like I know I'm on the banking, but how many feet would it be till I'm off the banking? Uh, yeah, only only about you know 15 foot. Pro probably where cleaner is now. Okay, cool. Um, she'll do that. She'll she'll yeah. use the full um thirty. So she'll she'll move. Um, she'll misty step off up into the actual. So she's way off the banking, basically. Right. So yeah. So as these these uh disembodied um hands had not into them. <laughs> as these disembodies had grabbed uh had grabbed you, you get out your loot and poof, the puff of magic. You disappear and reappear onto onto the banking. Right. You're no um, so, excellent. That was her bonus action. And then action, she is going to turn around and she is going to um firebolt. Um and she is just going to concentrate this fire. So she'll kind of like get up at her side and just be like, ugh, rub her leg, take out her loot again, and then she's just going to strum it again and cast firebolt. Okay. Out into the mass of limbs. Sure, roll an attack. <laughs> roll a spell attack. Sixteen. Sixteen hits, yeah. Roll some Excellent. damage. Excellent. And then damage the D ten. Oh, where's my D ten? Oh no. I'll use a D one hundred and just use it as ten. <laughs> <laughs> Same difference. Ten points of damage. <laughs> Ten points of damage. Fantastic. Uh, so uh, you you feel like your uh, magical fire um, was main, way more effective than uh, your arrows from earlier. Good. I'm assuming Let's you weren't using that. your magical bolts as well. That's I did assume that. You didn't say. No, I was. Oh, you oh you were. Okay. Right. Yeah, okay. the Doesn't plus matter. one bolts. Doesn't matter. Make sure, sorry. You, make sure you tell yeah, me if you're using magical using. weapons, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, because we said last time that she's just going to use those until she runs out. So she's, she was using those. Okay. And that is the end of her turn. Okay. Uh, it is now Kalina's turn. Oh, God. <laughs> right, I'm going to get her stuff back up. <laughs> there's, there's, only, there's only three people in the turn order. Technically. I know, I know. Do you want me to <laughs> run Kalina for you? Uh, it's okay. Oh, right, okay, so Kalina is currently, so you said 15 foot to the top of the banking, so she moved 15 foot, yeah. so she's out of the difficult terrain now. Excellent. Um, She is going to um, 
The only range thing she's got is her, her crossbow, so she is going to shoot at the mask again. Great, roll an attack. Um, that was a nat 20. <laughs> nat 20, nice. Double the dice. So, double the dice, okay. Uh, sharp bow, D8. Um, so that's so... 2D8, plus whatever. So that's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen points of damage. Seventeen, okay. Um, and then she is going to move up next to Annalise. Yeah. So is she? Is it? Is kind of like she, back to back. Yeah. She she's being pretty laser focused with her bow, um, managing to pin a couple of these a couple of these limbs to the spot. Um, there's not many of these limbs around now as they start uh, crawling crawling up the hill um, reaching out of the mud um, and rolling towards you um, they're going to I'm going to roll uh, one to two Annalise and uh, three to four Kalina so they're yep. coming, at, coming after you Annalise um, they're going to start clawing at you oh no, oh, no. Oh. Um, I'm going to cut in words yeah cut words yeah um, yeah, so she's going to, cutting words, um, she's just going to be like, um, oh, you know, you are just so dumb that the tech thoughts would probably give me psychic damage. <laughs> she's going to cutting words. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to roll the damage. Uh, wait, I'm going to, ooh. Mm, uh, ooh. They crit, they critted. I'll tell you that. Right, okay. I'm going to do it off the attack because I can't really take much more damage. So I'm going to have to just risk this. So I need a five or a six. What's, what's, your, oh. what's your AC? 15. Well, they critted. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Ah, sorry. Words. They, cr they critted. No, yeah. I'll take it off the damage. Take and off the I'm damage, yeah. You're at a five. I'll take it off the damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is a four, five, six damage taking off a of five so that's one damage you oh. <laughs> that was worth doing that was worth doing guys i am hurt cool as the uh as the swarm starts to surround you there's only a few limbs left um that's a that's a second natural 20 from them in a row uh onto kalina um however kalina needs to make a strength saving throw please okay. if you can Oh. It's not very strong either. <laughs> oh, she rolled a seventeen though. Seventeen. Plus zero is seventeen. Yeah, she she's fine. As as this uh, disembodied hand kind of starts cr clawing at her and crawling up, she kind of swats it away. Uh, it's your turn, Alice. Okay, um, I am going to um, action. Um, I want to firebolt at them again since that seemed to be quite quite effective before. So I'm going to firebolt. Yeah, I'll take out the loot and she'll just. Uh... Ah, ha -ha. <laughs> so it's a seventeen. She's going to be like, burn, baby, burn. Yeah, how do you want to? She's just singing you, away. Yeah, how do you want to finish these last limbs that are flailing around? Aha! Exactly like that. She's going to take out her loot. She's just going to be like, that's it. Burn limbs, burn. <laughs> as, you, as you're as you're singing, burn <laughs> zombie limbs, burn. Uh, they all yeah, they all start just ig igniting and just burning to a burning to a crisp. Um, go, going limp, <laughs> some just kind of rolling, several actually just rolling down the bank into the mud and into the river. Um, some being floating and being carried off downstream underneath the bridge and into the distance. Um, well done. We are now out of initiative. <laughs> Annalise is going to um, take out a potion of healing. <laughs> yeah, pop your, pop your potion and of healing. And she's going to drink the potion of healing. Yeah, take, take, take your healing. Um, 2d4 plus, plus two. 2? Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> sorry, I just injured myself my very sharp yeah. d4. <laughs> yeah, you need healing from that. 
Oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Okay, so pretty hurt, but not as hurt. Right. Um, well, that is something I have not seen before. No, very disturbing, no? Yes. Um, is that man still around here, or did he just keep running? As you look over to where he was, you can actually see... Uh, it is, in fact, a man. He seems to be in... In what you would kind of you know vestments kind of religious vestments quite humble ones uh, that he is slightly larger quite a bit older as well um quite sh kind of short in stature um he kind of limps limps over to you um as you get up close to him yeah you, you can see he's he's seen a bit of seen a bit of life ah uh, hello are you okay Oh, thank you. Thank you, heroes. Thank you. What? What happened? Why? How? What? What happened? Well, it's it's very dangerous to go alone. Should have taken a sword. <laughs> Everyone knows there's great evil in these woods. Everyone knows? Where? Strange question, but where exactly are we? Where are we? Well, this is the this is the Spindle Road. This leads to Willow Hold. I was on my way there. Willow Hold. Do I recognize any of those place names? I'm not going to make you roll for it. No, you don't. Okay. Hmm. Well. We basically came across here by accident. We're looking for someone. Oh. Do you live here? Uh, well, no, I am from, I am from the glorious uh, circle of light. Ah. Cool. <laughs> I was heading to uh, Willow Hold to spread the good news. The good news? What is the good news? That the Circle of Light is the only safe place in Steimharad. The only safe place? Yes. So... It's do to the north. I... Should... Sorry. Go on. No, go ahead. Do I believe what you're saying? Do an insight check. Everyone's just around here, okay? Everyone's a possible vampire. It's like Schrodinger's vampires around Schrodinger's here. Schrodinger's vampire. Um, <laughs> 18. He, see, he seems to be very genuine. <laughs> he seems to be a very pious individual. Okay, okay. Well, my, my name is Annalise. Hello, this, Annalise. This, this, here's my friend, Kalina. Hello, Kalina. Uh, what, what can we call you? Oh, uh, Danuk. Brother Danuk. Brother Danuk. Well, it's lovely to meet you, but we need to try and find a Lord Nasak. You see them anywhere? A Lord Nasak? I can't say that that's the name I've ever heard. It's a friend of yours, is he? Not quite. But... We're currently also trying to fight this evil that is going on around here. Have you come across anything else suspicious other than the zombie limbs? Oh, well, there's many, many dangerous things in the woods. You really shouldn't travel, especially at night. And it'll be not be long before it is dark. Oh, we saw some rather big wolves out there. Oh, yes, wolves. Yes, there are definitely wolves in the woods. Oh, but, but like one of them was like a normal wolf, but it was like, like, like dire. That does sound dire. How <laughs> very dire. Okay, well, if we were to go across that bridge there, what, what, what is on the other side? You said you just came from, from, from there. What, um, what is that? Is there people there? Oh, the ring of light. Yes. However, it is a far, a, a, a fair distance. You will not get there before dark. 
I, however, find myself in need of uh, protection. I wonder if you would escort me to Willowhold. What is in Willowhold? Are there people there? Oh, yes. Yes, there are. We have not had contact with Willowhold for some time. Okay. But there are people there that need saving. Well, wait here just one second. Uh, let me just um, con confirm with my friend here first. Of course. I go over to Kleena. Mm -hmm. What do you think then? Should we um, escort him to this blue hold? Well, I mean, it's better than just uh, we could be wandering for days, couldn't we? This True. Is the first and... person we've seen here alive. Yes, and um, while well, our lovely Lord Nasak is going to be looking for people who are alive, it's a logical place for him to go. Yeah, I agree. Okay, we will help him. I'm just gonna go back to him. Uh, my friend and I, we will, we, we shall help you. We will travel with you to Willowhold. Uh, we just need. Um, if I look back over to like, the river um, where we just came from, because <laughs> we are covered in blood still. Give me out. Is there still, um, like, does it look, is it looking easier a bit to get to the water? Um, not easy. I mean, it's, it's, it was, it was muddy, basically. The, the banking is, is, uh, it's, it's just a slight slope into the banking, but it is muddy as hell. Okay. I'm going to have a closer look at it, and I want to see if I can see any signs of any more zombie limbs that might come out and grab us if we try to wash the blood off of us. <laughs> do, a, do a survival check. Okay. Um, that is a... What is my sheet? 16. 16. You can't, you can't, yeah. you can't see, apart from the ones that are still just laying there, you can't see any others. There's no signs of it. However, they did just randomly come out of the, the mud. It seemed. I think perhaps we might need to wait until we find somewhere safer to um, wash all of this off. I agree. Okay. Well, brother Donna, why don't you lead the way? Oh, yes. I'm so glad you're coming with me. We'll bring salvation to, to Willow Holt. Come. And he kind of shuffles and limps uh, down the road back where you came um, with that I think we'll take a quick break um, we'll see where see where brother Denick leads our intrepid adventurers um, thank you for joining us so far everyone go top up on your drinks and top up on your snacks uh, we will be back in about five five to ten minutes okay we will see you soon see you soon guys bye bye hello welcome back to to have to roll till death saves to us part i hope you are back refreshed so ready to jump in so far our two heroes our bard annalise and her friend kalina found themselves in a mysterious forest whereupon they eventually found a road which led them to a small encounter with a pack of wolves um, but also a bridge across a river and a man being chased by a swarm of zombie limbs across across the bridge, um, having saved the man they discovered his name is Father, uh, Brother Denick, not Father Denick, Brother Denick. Um, and he is on his way to, did I say father or brother? I think you did say brother, and I wrote father, so right. I'm changing That's that weird, now. Because it's definitely brother, so maybe. maybe yeah, I, I, said... I think I, I just heard father, yeah. so I, I've written brother. Brother, <laughs> brother Denek, who was on his way to Willow Hold. He hails from a place called the Circle of the Light uh, in the north. He is on his way to Willow Hold to bring salvation to the people of the town, and he has asked you to escort him there, as it is getting dark and there are many dangers. The woods are dark and full of terror. <laughs> so, as you head, uh, start heading down the road, retreading your steps slightly, um, Brother Denick will inform you that uh, it is it's less than 
It's less than eight miles away. So it'll, it'll take you a couple of hours of trudging along. During this time, Brother Denick will... He, he seems... Um, he, he seems a very friendly, friendly chap, although very devout in his religion. Is there anything you'd like to speak about on your travels? Um, nothing too specific, I think. Just gonna kind of just travel along there. Um, uh, brother Denik, where yes. um, do you have somewhere to stay in this in this town when we get there? Oh, uh, yes, I I think. That they they do have a they do have a mayor. I've I've I hear that they have come on hard times in Willowhold. I'm, I'm sure I'm sure we will be put up. However, you know I I I do not mind I do not mind sleeping rough. No, of course not. We may need to um find somewhere to stay for a little while until we can figure out exactly um yes exactly what to do next. You said you had not heard from them in a while. How long is a while? Oh, well, uh, months. Not that we really trade with, you know, for we, we do not need anything in the circle of light. Hmm. Well, hopefully they are, they are okay there with everything that's been going on, I mean. Oh, I very much doubt that, my child. They're in much need of help. Right. I'll whisper over to Kleena. Ah, perhaps we should make sure we are uh, ready for another potential fight, just in case there is something waiting for us there. Agreed. Always ready. <laughs> As you... Um. Can I? Mm -hmm. I'm using all my healing potions here, but I'm really hurt still. <laughs> um, actually, no, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Never mind. Nope. I'm good. Okay. As you uh, proceed down the road, uh, you do. Um, let's see. Do me. No, what? No. What, what's your passive perception? Um, I think I might I'm need down. character sheet layout. Let's see. That's uh, there we go. Fourteen. Okay. Um, as you're heading heading down the road south, because you know you're heading south now, as as the brother has informed you, um, you do hear you hear a weird kind of clonking noise just off the road. Clonking noise. Did you say? Clonking. Clonking. Okay. Or clunking, clonking. Um. More clonking. Do. Non-metallic clonking. Does anybody know what that sound is? Should we uh, go see? Yes. Yes, I'm going to take a closer look just in case. Maybe somebody is 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 in need. Oh yes, so, very brave of you. <laughs> start heading towards the clunking sound as soon as you as soon as you come off the road uh you can see because you can see uh things moving between the trees um and what you actually find they're pretty obvious once you just go off the road a little bit they seem to be uh grotesque bone chimes made from the trees and kind of ornamented and ornament ornamented sorry with feathers and strips of dried skin hmm perhaps it is some sort of i don't know like a shrine or something to a god oh no they are vile totems they are the work oh. of the evil witches of the wood Okay, great. <laughs> Come, we must leave this place. I'm 
she'll head back out. <laughs> Bro Bro Brother Denik will, will, you know, usher you back onto the road. Gun Willow holds not far now. Go on. Lead the way. Just as the, uh, just as the last bit of light um, that's breaking through the mists fades on the horizon, you do start to see quivering motes of torchlight in the distance. It seems to illuminate it what looks like a decrepit wall made of wooden stakes. As you near, you see that there is a wagon with spears jutting out the back of it, acting like a, a makeshift gate. You're just going to approach directly? What a, what a pleasant town. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. But behind um, Father Danuk, since I'm assuming they know him, so, yeah. Um, she will take out her loot and just have it in hand ready, just in case. Okay. And be quite wary about her surroundings as they approach. Okay. As you um, head up towards, you can see you do actually pass um, a couple of zombified corpses um, on the pathway leading up to it. As you approach the uh, the gate or the yeah the gate in inverted commas, uh, you see an excited looking middle aged uh, human man poke his head up with a crossbow. Who goes there? Oh, my friend, it's my, my, my name is Fa uh, brother. It's not father. It's brother, brother, brother Denik. It feels like sorry. It seems like it rolls off the tongue better sometimes. I apologize. I hope to be a father someday. A religious kind, not the not the not the parenting kind. What do you want? <laughs> oh, we've we've come. I've come to offer salvation. Have you heard about the Circle of Light, child? No. <laughs> Anything else I can help you with? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Annalise, and my, my my friend Galina and I are currently dealing with the um. And she kind of like point over to the zombified corpse. The uh, spooky situation that's happening. We have managed to kill quite a few of these guys. Could we please come in for some safety for tonight? Yeah, well, it is pretty unsafe. It would have to be a monster to let you live out there, sleep out there the night. All right. Come on in. Bob, give me an help with this, will you? And uh, they start like just pushing the wagon um, so there's now an opening for the three of you to enter. <sighs> She'll head in. Um, do me a, um, do me a, do me a perception check. Okay. I was in that 20. <laughs> it's my favorite dice. <laughs> well done, well done. Okay, so as you're walking through, um, you do notice that, um, a lot of the people here look pretty, pretty sickly. Um, there's a few of them that have quite nasty looking uh, boils on their skin. You also notice as well that uh, the fields that are enclosed within this wall as well are very sparse. Um, the people also look pretty, pretty thin. Um. She's going to head in, have a look around, and the, the person that let them in, she's going to turn to them and just be like, what, um, what happened here? The people who have the, the boils, what happened to them? Where's well, the sickness? It... Have, you, have you not got the sickness where you come from? I, I do not think so, no. Cool, you're lucky. It's about our luck. It's always something in this town. 
When did people start getting sick? Well, say, well, Bob, when did we start getting sick? Two months? Yeah, but like two, two months? Two and a two bit? Two months, okay. Is, um, is everyone sick or just, just a few? Well, not everyone's sick. I'm not, as you can see. I ain't got no boils. Yet. Okay. Well. But I've been sleepwalking. I've... You've been sleepwalking? Yeah. How do you know you've been sleepwalking? Well. Waking up in someone else's house is a good indication. Yes, that, that, that usually is a good indication. Hmm. Well, my friend and I, we are actually looking for someone specific. I wondered if you'd be able to help us out with some information. Well, I might be able to. Well, most new uh, most newcomers uh, go to see the man in charge. Oh, yes, the mayor, I guess. Um... Yeah, I could take you to him. That would be good, actually. Yes, yeah, please. I'll take you to Alfwald. Come on. Alfwald. 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 Yeah, A L F W O L D. Okay, let's go see Alfwald. Okay, as you um, as you head uh, through with that perception check that you um, already had, you can see that yeah. there are bits of earth that are kind of overturned um you, you assume that they're like shallow for shallow graves if you like um the, the, yeah the, the the people here look a little bit malnourished as well um as you walk through some look extremely exhausted um but going about their kind of their, their daily uh daily routines um as best they can um, as you pass, you the buildings here are very humble. You go past um, what looks like a uh, a meeting hall, um, and you can hear um, a woman's voice. Um, sounds like they're speaking to a crowd, um, but you can't you can't see inside though. The door is just slightly ajar, um, and as your as the guards uh, leads you leads you past. Um, she kind of just look over towards the guards. What is happening in there? There's probably some meeting, I imagine. Sounds like hmm. Welland's giving a speech or something. Welland, who's Welland? Oh, Welland. Well, that's uh, that's Alfwald's daughter. Ah. <clears throat> so they both have a, a say in the town, then. Well, yeah, I mean, but it's not a, uh, he doesn't rule over us like a king, if that's what you mean. Obviously, you need leadership, don't you? Of course, of course you do. Yes. You should just kind of, like, carry on walking with them. As you, uh, as you walk by the hall, you can hear kind of snippets of what's being said inside. Give your all, give everything everything in you to overcome corruption as you pass it you pass a, a a few dozen really small houses um and then you eventually come to a manor um surrounded by what looks like looks like a a winery out the back you can see parts of the 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 uh, vine fields um out the back um and everything is enclosed within this this wall. It's like a ten. It's about ten foot tall, um, ten foot tall wall. But it is definitely showing signs of disrepair and weakness as well. Uh, you can also see that there are uh, what few able-looking bodies around are on patrol around the perimeter of Willowhold. Armed like your charges, you know, with crossbows, swords. Yeah. As you approach the manor, uh, the guard escorting you will be like, one sec, and he'll run in, and then come running, running back out. 
And he's like, good day to you. And he'll walk past you. Out the front door of the manor, um, you see a, a tall and gaunt man. Um, looks very uh, pretty thin and pretty sickly too. Um, he has a, has a stern look about him. How are you doing? My name is Alfwald Tam. Welcome to Willowhold. Hello, thank you. It is, um... Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name is Annalise, and this here is Kalina. Hello, Annalise. Hello, Kalina. We have traveled from, um... Just kind of like awkwardly look at Kalina. She gives Rebels you that. From... She kind of looks at you and is like, "I'll follow." That gives you that look of like, "I'll follow your lead," <laughs> type yeah. thing. If you want to lie, then lie. Type look. Yeah, we've traveled from quite far away, and we um are on the pursuit of someone. Perhaps you may have heard of them. Well, give me the name, and I shall tell you. Have you heard of a Lord Nasak? No, I've not heard of a Nasak. Not that I've seen many lords around here these days. That is true. Your people here, we see that many of them are sick. The, the guards were telling us that it's been about two months now that this has been happening. Yes, around that. Do you know what started it? He scr kind of scratches his arm and covers parts of his arm. Why don't you come in and I'll get you something to eat. Something to drink. Of course. And she'll, she'll walk in. Um, the, 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 th the three of you walk in uh, to the manor house. Um, Alfold will... Uh, it's, it's very... It's a kind of very meagerly um, presented little place, even though it's a manor, you know, um, kind of tatty old furniture. Um, but he but he sits you down um, and he, uh, as you're chit chatting, as he ushers you in, he goes out and gets a few um, plates of food that he prepares and uh, puts it in front of you. The food looks pretty questionable, <laughs> to, say, to <laughs> say the least. As I say here, you're safe in Willow Hold. You can stay here as long as you want. We don't get many travelers these days. Well, thank you. We will we will not stay too long. We do not want to use your, your precious resources. But hopefully we can try and help out a little bit. Well, that would be person... most useful. This disease has been terrible. Nothing that, Nothing we faced before. Has anything helped it so far? No, not of yet. Although my my daughter, my my precious Wellen, she's she's very very talented in the arcane arts. She seems to think oh. there's some way that we can be helped. Has she found anything so far that can actually help the people? I'm not sure, but she's very smart, my Willen. Very smart. I'm sure she'll find a way. However, this disease has taken its toll on my population. It's a very unusual disease. First, mm. there's a crushing exhaustion. Then, sleepwalking. Followed by paranoia. And finally, uh, horrible boils. And um, the symptoms that he is telling me, has Annalise ever come across anything like this before or, or heard any stories of something similar to this? You can make a medicine check if you want. Okay. Um, or, or a history check. 11 plus we'll do medicine so 14 14 it sounds 
It's. I mean, the 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 symptoms maybe um, sleepwalking is probably the most unusual, uh, the most uncommon of symptoms for plagues. You've heard of different plagues that have um, taken hold in in history. It's not really your area of, of expertise. Um, mm. It's those exact symptoms doesn't um, doesn't uh, match anything that you've heard of before when it comes to plagues okay um unfortunately i've not heard of anything like this before hopefully your daughter is able to come up with something that can help the people oh i'm sure she will i'm sure she will where did you uh where did you say you were from again This is me trying to remember. Um, <laughs> you trying to remember the city? No, I know it was Linolin, mm -hmm. but then we went to, oh God. Um, the Frostmore Mountains. Thank you. Um, the Frostmore Mountains? Hmm. Never heard of them. Is that in Steinhorod? No, no, it is not. Oh. We do not see many people from outside of Stime Horrod. No, we um No, we came across here in a rather unusual way. We're trying to figure out how to get back really after we find this person that we are looking for. Well but... it's not safe out at night. I don't know if you're from outside of Stime Horrod, though i don't think I've ever met anybody from outside these lands. Well, now you can't say that anymore because now you have. Well, we will do what we can to help you people while we're here. Perhaps we'll speak to your daughter. Maybe there is something she requires to, to help her arcane arts. Maybe there's something she needs to potentially help the people in the, in the city. We can speak to her. Yes, well, she should be home any and as he goes to say any minute there is a flash of lightning um, and you can hear rain suddenly begin to pour down onto the roof of the manor um, with another of lightning the door swings open and in the doorway you see a silhouetted figure in a hood Um, but what what is <laughs> what what is the mayor doing? Is it someone he knows? Is he in like your in your stand, looking backwards and forwards as you um, stand there wondering, the figure puts down their hood and you see a you see a young uh, human woman with quite striking green eyes actually, um, a very thin frame. Um, light blonde hair that uh, kind of falls down almost the full length of her back uh, and she rushes over towards her father and as you look at um, Ulfwald you see that he's looking very weak and he's now having a coughing fit <coughs> father, father you must rest, you must rest as she Settles him back down into a chair. See, <clears throat> told you she'd be <clears throat> here. And he, <clears throat> this is, uh, and she kind of settles him. Yes, I, I am well in, and visitors. Uh, yes, know. yes. Um, I am Annalise, on, and this is Cleaner. We are. We've been dealing with this horrific situation out in the woods on our way here. Oh. Father, your why... father said I'm sorry I'm sorry but I was I think my father should rest he's not very well like most of the town and he is vulnerable oh, don't you think father I think you should go go rest it is getting late <sighs> yeah you're you're right you're right right <sighs> off I go 
I, I will help you, Father. Hang on. And she helps him up, and they head off. Uh, they head off upstairs. You're, you're left for a little time if you want to discuss anything. If not, Wellen, huh? Wellen um, comes back down uh, as she comes down the stairs. She does start talking to you as she does so. She pours herself quite a quite a sizable drink, um, and she comes and sits down next to you. Um, as she does so, you notice that she kind of drink in one hand with the other. She's playing with a a necklace that looks like it's made out of um, know, like copper. It's okay. got like a yeah, it's got like a an image of a tree on it. Do I recognize it? Um, do uh, do me a give me a history check. Or a religion check, depending on what you um, you might think it might be. We'll make it religion as a ten. It's not something you recognise as any kind of okay. religious um, religious symbolism. Um. Yeah. So I'm um, Alice. I'll kind of like sit down there and go to speak to her. <clears throat> yes. Your your father said that. Um, that you might be able to help some of the people here, that you are, are gifted in the, the arcane arts. Is that correct? Yes, I do know a little bit about magic. Do you know things about magic? Um, kind of like, kind of awkwardly <laughs> at this point around. Um, yeah, yes, yes. I, I do know a couple of things about magic. Maybe not as much as you, though. The sickness that my father has is not natural. What do you think it is? Maybe you can help. What, I want to show what you do something. you think? And she gets up. She intentionally, <laughs> intentionally speaks over you. And she gets up and walks away up to the stairs again. After time she comes back down and she's carrying with her what looks like it's like a, a a totem made of bone and feather it gives you a bit of an unnerving feeling ah <clears throat> uh, yes we um we saw something similar to this out in the woods. Yes. She's kind of just looking at the totem currently, not at you. I found this in the well yesterday when I was drawing water. Do you think somebody has put some sort of curse on your tongue? Um, I think so. I think it comes from the witches that live in the wood. They're not very nice. Have you spoken to these witches before? No, I don't think it's a good idea for people to, especially the villagers, to go out into the woods. So I haven't told them about the totem. Only I know about it. And she's still kind of like looking at it. That's probably wise. You don't want to worry them, do you? No. No, I wouldn't want uh, I wouldn't want them to jeopardize their safety anymore. But perhaps this is a good thing, no? If um if there has been some sort of curse put on, it could be lifted. You look very strong, the two of you. Maybe you can help me get to the bottom of this. Perhaps, perhaps we could. Could I, um... Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to 
read some. Anyway, um, could, could I perhaps have a look at this totem? Well, of course. Here you go. Um, can I... So I'm, I'm reading a spell here. I'm not sure if it's actually would do anything here at all. Okay, um, it's the Detect Evil and Good. Um, read the for, the duration, up, for the duration, um, you know if there is an aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, or undead within 30 feet of you, as well as where the creature is located. Yeah. Similarly, you know if there is a place or object within 30 feet of you that has been magically consecrated or desecrated. Yeah, you can um, cast that. Spell can also penetrate. Sorry, oh, yeah, yeah, sure, okay. Um, yeah, she will cast that. She'll take out a loot and she'll be like, don't worry, I'm just going to have a do something so I can see if, um, try to figure out what this might be. Oh, and then she'll start playing some music. Start playing some music. Um, you start to notice that a very dark energy is emanating from this totem. Some sort of dark ritual has definitely been cast around it. Okay. But there's definitely something evil at play here with this totem in your hands. I don't think you should be touching it actually. Maybe maybe you should put it down. Oh, don't worry. I've had it for about a month now. Oh, wait. Sorry. You've had it for a month? Sorry. No. Wrong. That's wrong. That's clearly wrong. She's had it for a day now. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> well, even so, you've had it for a day. Hmm. Unfortunately, I think the only way to get to the bottom of this is to speak to the people who you believe created it. We need to speak to the witches. I think you're right. Whereabouts are they within the woods? Why, in the witchwood, of course. Oh, of course. Whereabouts is the witchwood? She uh, looks out the door. Why? The witchwood is all around us. Okay. How about um, myself and Kalina tomorrow, when it is a little bit lighter, we shall go out and we will have a look around and see if we can find these witches. In the meantime, um, maybe keep that covered somewhere. I, I don't know. Oh, I think you should you, be touching oh, it. Oh, no, you you are right, of course. I think you should... Why don't you take it? It might lead oh, you Oh, no, the... no, no. I'm actually good not taking it, that. Well, um, it might lead you to the witches. Because there okay, has to be okay, some... Okay, how about... I'm starting to think that there is a, an antidote or a charm. Okay, how about this? And she'll she'll take her, her bag of holding, which is currently empty at this point. Why don't you just drop it in there? Very well. Drops it. <laughs> <laughs> it goes down the set of stairs. <laughs> oh dear, that's the giant set of cracking, uh, rubber duck squeak and everything, yeah. Just <laughs> um, put that aside. Um, this evening, do you know if there's anywhere that um, my, my friend and I could stay? Does not have to be a room or anything, just somewhere we could go and sleep for the evening. Oh, of course, you can you can stay in the manor, or you can stay in the common. There is a hole there, plenty of rooms. It's totally up to yourself. Um, we'll go over to clean up. I'll the... How about we go to the common? Sure, you can follow me. I'll show you there. Thank you. Follow her. You head off into the into the night as you uh yeah as you're, as you're heading out um you do see if one or two people that are just kind of just standing in the street a couple of them are doing some very odd walking around very strange gait 
that they have as they walk around. Well, and leads you to um, the hall that you passed where you heard um, there was a town meeting going on earlier. Um, and there mm -hmm. are a few rooms within that you and Kalina and uh, Brother Denik as well. Um, he gets to work on as as you're walking through he he he's kind of muttering about how these people need saved and um he goes through his papers where he's got scripture and and whatnot he kind of parts himself away from the two of you and makes it very clear that he has just wants nothing to do with uh, going out and saving the day against witches um, <laughs> but you can bed down for the night if you so wish yeah um so wait for like so um the girl and for brother Derek to be <laughs> to, to go somewhere else and she'll just kind of like go to clean up. Are you okay about going out to possibly, well, go on a witch hunt tomorrow? Well, I mean, want to uh, want to help these people, I, I guess. And we have no other leads on where Nasak may be or where we are, at least we know. I've never heard of, uh, never heard of Stein Harad. I've no idea where we are. It is not a land I know of. Not either. It's all just rather bizarre. It's... I know we've established that we are not asleep, but we come to a strange town where we have never heard of this place. And the people here, they have never heard of our place. And yet they are all sleepwalking. It is strange. It is very hmm. odd. Perhaps we should just stay close to one another. I do not think we should be separated here. I think so. We can go out early in the morning. We can hopefully find these witches. And perhaps the witches have nothing to do with these totems. There could be something else going on. They might be able to help us. I agree. Okay. Well, we should probably get some rest and uh, make sure the door is locked very well. I agree. I will. Uh, I will. I will lock door. I would maybe push something up against it. Yes, here. And she'll kind of go to help her, like, is there like furniture? Is there yeah, something heavy? Say, they can see, yeah. yeah let, let's just <laughs> she'll kind of help you, her just so like, like barricade the door. <laughs> yeah, bar barricade the door. Um, it's, it's relatively late now anyway, so are you wanting to take a long rest? Yes. <laughs> so, you, you probably, so if you have like a full long rest, you're probably not going to be able to get up at the crack of dawn. Um, okay. But yeah, you're gonna get up at a reasonable hour, sort of like eight, nine a.m. That's fine. Yeah, it's just kind of like yeah, I'm sure just start. Up. Yeah, sit down with her for the evening and take a long rest. Okay, so you can get your long rest. You can get all your all your stuffs back, all your spell slots, um, and obviously <laughs> all your HP back <laughs> as well. Oh, it's guys. So injured. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Excellent. It's everything marked off. Excellent. So as the sun rises very weakly um, and starts your, you know, will end your first full day um, in this place, what would you like to do? She will wake up. Um, is there a window in the room? Yeah, there is. She's going to look out the window. Does she see anything? Yeah, you can see... Well, uh, you can see, obviously, the the town. Uh, and you see the, the mists and the fog beyond. Um, you do see smoke plumes as well, though. Real kind of oily, thin plumes of smoke. And on the air, you can smell that that undeniable smell of burning flesh as well. 
Okay. Um, she kind of go up to Kleena. Are you, are you awake? That's what, wake, yes. I'm so awake. <laughs> you know, you don't look that awake. Do you, do you no. want another, another few minutes? No, I'm ready. Ready to, ready to go. The, do you, okay. Well, how about we, um, I still got some rations in my bag. We can maybe just have some of our rations and then I we can so. head off. I think so. Here's you, a you're still kind of like pretty asleep. Question. Would you have eaten the food that Ulfwald gave you? Yes. I did, I did tell you it looked questionable. All right. <laughs> um, I'll let you decide whether Annalise would have opened up. She probably would have eaten some of it, but not all of it. Okay, I want you to make me a constitution saving throw, please. For fuck's sake. The fuck did he feed us? <laughs> Uh right, that is... Where is my con? Oh, my con's a plus three. Seventeen. Seventeen, okay. Um, yeah, you sit down and you start eating your rations. What else would you like to do? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So, I think we should just head out now. I think, I think so. Let's go. Okay. Right. She'll go and she'll start moving the stuff away from the door. <laughs> kind of putting it back to where it was, you know. It's a nice guest. <laughs> you start, yeah, you start moving. You start moving things around again. Uh, as you... I'm sure this was slightly more over to the left. <laughs> you, you, uh, you, you gather all your... Um, you gather all your things. Uh, and you start to head out. Um, however, when you exit um there is a guard at the door waiting for you as you exit good morning good morning you've been uh, summoned to the commons summoned um, by by whom offwald everyone's summoned wants to make sure everyone's there sure okay we will be there very soon. Well, I was told to escort everyone to the commons. And he just wants to speak to people? Yeah, everyone in town. Just, um, okay, okay. Do I believe him? Do an insight check. Uh, 14. Yeah, he seems to be telling. He, he seems to be a man who's doing his job. Okay, so to lead the way. It's not far. As you as you head out, you see um, a large group of people um, gathered around um, Ulfwald as he's addressing the villagers, um, and as he's kind of looking, as people are kind of trickling in, um, you can hear uh, people. Um, kind of talking amongst themselves as he's talking as well and you kind of catch the tail end of what he's saying I think I know the last time she was seen we must find her more people have arrived everyone, everyone my my poor darling Wellen has disappeared when when did she disappear? we saw her late last night Yes, I'm glad you are here. Something's amiss. She, she wouldn't go missing. Not my well-in. I was hoping you would enlighten us all, strangers from outside Stein Horrod, since you were the last ones to see her. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, yes, we saw her at your manor last night. I spoke with her for a time. And she directed us towards these rooms. We have not seen her since, but we did tell her that we'd be heading out into the woods this morning. Would she have gone out there herself? I don't think so. Well, it hmm. would not be so stupid as to leave 
the walls of Willow Hold at night. Did anyone else here see well in with these newcomers? What's your what's your what's your are you proficient in insight? Um No. Okay. Do me an insight check. <laughs> Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, you're starting to get a very, a, a bit of a hostile vibe from the villagers. Oh, no shit. <laughs> okay. Have you checked everywhere in town first? I think we prefer to check yourselves first. If you have nothing to hide, I'm sure we can... He kind of nods to the um, nods to the guards, and you see several of them, four or five, um, near you. Also, the villagers are starting to, starting to circle you a little bit. Search their bags. Your daughter, she gave us something. What I do not think you? she wants everyone here to know about it. Would you like me to tell you first? Or would you like me to tell everyone what she found? Do a persuasion check. Twenty eight. Okay. Show me over here. We'll head over to him. Right. The daughter found this. Now she found it within the well. She said she had been carrying it for one day. That's why we're going out to the woods. What is it? And she opens her bag. I don't actually want to touch it, to be honest. And she kind of like does this sort of like thing where she's trying to show it to him. She thinks that the witches in the woods have something to do with it. Your My friend and I, we are going out to speak to these witches and to see if there has been some sort of curse placed on your village. He looks in the bag. I see nothing. It's a bag of holding. You're gonna have to take, take it out. Ah, ah. So take it out. <laughs> As you take it out, he jumps back. Yes, that's what I did when she sold me. Put it back in. Witchcraft! Witchcraft, what yeah, have you no done shit. with my daughter? And everyone starts shouting, <laughs> Witches! Witch! <laughs> Witches! Uh. And we'll end the session there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dun, dun, dun. Well, d <laughs> well, well, well done. Yeah, you might have got yourself into a, into a little bit of a pickle. Um, What's going to happen? I'm saying, you're going, how does a bag of holding work again? <laughs> Can they see it? I thought anybody could put their hands in and take it out. <laughs> oh, no, anyone can, but he was he didn't want to put his hand ah, in. Yeah, gotcha. he wasn't going to, you, yeah, quite he's, he's already <laughs> suspicious of you. You're like, oh, put your hand in this bag, <laughs> this magic bag. Uh, well, well done, well done, Alanise. Uh, so um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, make sure you come up and join us next week and we'll see how this uh, sticky situation um, resolves itself uh, with our two two adventurers in a land a land unknown to them a land known as Stein Harad. Um we'll see what happens uh, Robin, do we have any other last bits and pieces to say to everyone? We just like to do another little congratulations to our Instagram winner of course. Not a Witch not a witch. Exactly. Your name has been that was yeah. It was very appropriate. Yeah, exactly. That yeah, that was uh it was totally, totally not you could you almost think it was it was it was made up, but no. You just couldn't you couldn't write it any better. I was trying to keep a straight oh, face dear. as well when you announced the when you announced the name because well, I was like, hmm, this is this is going to this is gonna work well. I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, yes, oh, dear. congratulations to Not A Witch. Um, proud owner of a beautiful quill and a set of dice. Uh, for everyone else, uh, make sure you go check us out on um, Instagram. Make sure you go check us out on um, Twitter. Make sure you come and join our Discord community. Uh, make sure you're back here. I will. We will definitely be back here on Thursday. We're going to be doing a live chat. I'll be playing some video games on Friday, and then we'll be carrying on this story next Saturday at 3 p.m. GMT plus one. Make sure you're uh, ch either checking the about section on Twitch to get, be updated on when we're streaming or you can join our Discord community. Um, there's a load of cool people in there. Uh, some of my best friends are in there um, and we keep everyone updated in there. Also, fantastic. Right, should we... <laughs> goodbye, Robin. So say goodbye to these lovely people. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye. See ya.